good morning guys and gals BB back here <coughs> excuse me we're just heading on into Regina here drop off this pallet of stuff we got to pick up a few things in the city and then we'll be out there hauling some bales today but how about this one so I don't know if you guys can make it out too well or not but you see that white SUV right in front of me That some bitch just flipped me the bird. So the speed limit here is 110 on this particular stretch of road. I'm doing 118. And that guy just flew past me when he got a chance. Like I was I was stuck there. I'm not going any faster than 118. And there's a bunch of people in front of me that were trying to pass this one guy and I had to wait for them blah 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 long story short is once I was able to get past all those people this guy didn't give me a chance to switch lanes and move over he just cut right off cut the one guy off blew by me flips me the bird and then slows freaking down it's not like he was gonna do 130 freaking kilometers an hour or anything He's right there. What a cocksucker. Oh well, I need to show him my shirt. I'm sure you guys might see my shirt here at one point or another today. It's shaping up to be a good one. Let's see what happens as the day continues. We'll talk to you all later. Well, we're all unloaded, guys. The big princess's auto. Check that one out. Get her, get some friggin' load, loading tie down chains. Uh, highway grade 70 suckers. Apparently they're, I think they're on sale actually right now even. Mm, so here we go. Let's get in here and get our stuff. Mm, so not sure if I can have you record in here because they might frown upon it, but We'll find out when we get inside. Talk to you later. Well, hey guys. Roll that window up so you can hear me a little better. Anyways, I uh, got all our shit done in Regina and at Mazer Group, Emerald Park, so on and so forth. Heading home now with an empty trailer. We gotta get our rack, our bail rack, mounted on the back end of this trailer just for safety's sake. And then we're going to get to haul in a few bales. So that's the plan at this point. But all best laid plans are subject to change at any given time. So we'll see what happens as the day progresses. Look here, we got ourselves a couple of hitch me hikers. Yeah, you stay on the shoulder of the road. That's what happened to... Uh, feller out and just on the south side of Saskatoon beginning part of last week or mid Tuesday of last week I think it was some young guy I believe he was hitchhiking I'm not 100% sure he was from out east Ontario area from what I understand and the bugger jumped out he, he literally jumped out in front of a semi truck and I don't know why if the truck could, maybe there was somebody beside the truck and the trucker couldn't move over, but it was a fuel hauling truck. And yeah, unfortunately, that young guy, there was something going wrong upstairs in his head. He was having issues, whatever. Don't know for sure, but uh, he basically uh, put that trucker put that trucker's life at stake along with anybody else that was on the highway at the time and more or less took his life by jumping out in front of a semi truck so anyways you always got to watch out for things like that when you're on the road it doesn't matter if you're a trucker or not uh, somebody could trip and fall if they're walking right on that white line and if you're right there in that lane they fall down the wrong way uh, you could take them out real quick. 
and it is summertime it's the year of uh, hitchhiking for lots of people so be careful when you guys are driving up and down these roads because you never know when uh, tragedy will strike anyways I want to let you guys go let's get our butts home get that uh, rack mounted and we'll bring you along for a little bit of bail hauling talk to you then hey guys how's it going see that down there I don't know if you'll be able to make it out, but he just went over the fence, or kind of went down into a little bit of a valley. And so, way out there, uh, right at the end of my finger, there's a bale right there, and then there's a little bit of a valley right there. Swamp donkey! You just crossed the fence in the in that valley. Freaking swamp donkey. We're out here in the field that the last field that we uh, bailed up. So we're gonna get these bales out of here. There's only 40 bales, and it's a one third, two thirds crop share. So some of these bales go back to the owner. 13 of them go back to the owner, and 27 come to us. So. Anyway, back to you in a bit. Well, there you guys see the wife. She just got into the field here, got parked. She was chasing me here. I got two bales on the front end of this tractor. Now let's see if I can get these suckers positioned on that trailer just straight, right? I'm a little off. I do have a little bit of a red line running down the center of the trailer for my center line. But that should be pretty darn close right there. Oh, well, that's two. Just a few more to go. Because this field is kind of rough and bouncy with molehills, especially on this end, she's just gonna park and sit there and I'll bring the bales to her instead of bouncing the truck all through this field too. In other fields, if it wasn't so rough, she would chase me around the field and we would, she would just do a quick stop as I set the bale on, but in this case, with these ones, because she's kind of a rough field, bouncy field, she can just sit there. Now, I always grab the bales. If you look close, you can see that bale sticking out past the edge of the bucket a little bit. And that's so that... Uh, when I set the bale on there, because lots of times I'll load all from one side. So the bucket isn't sticking out past the edge and I scrape the twines off the bale next to it as I'm sliding on by. Anyway, it's easier to work this friggin' thing and faster with two hands, so I'm gonna let you guys go and we'll come back in once we're loaded up. Alrighty guys, so we got our first load of uh, 13 on here. Like I said before, it's a load of 13 and a load of 14. So I'm just gonna grab 13 on this trip. That's what it looks like. 12 on the bottom, one on top. When you make them 64, they fit perfectly into that, with that rack I've got on the back end right there. And so that rack just fits into the pocket and then rests on the back main frame. And we strap it into place and yahoo works nice and so that gate is closed so we're gonna run this home and then I get to come out here by myself because the wife has to take the son's dog to the freaking veterinary's office we're thinking she's got excuse me we're thinking she's got a bit of an ear infection anyways 
we're gonna get this puppy hauled home and uh, I'll bring you back when we get there and working at unloading. Should have cut the grass before we brought bales home. Too late now. Well, we'll come back. Well, there you guys have her. Load number two. Like I said, it's still not a full load. I could be carrying 17, but why? There's no need for it. There, give you a good view from the back end with that rack. Works pretty slick, actually. So, we just got to get out of here now. And then come back for load number three, which actually goes to the guy that owns the property. This bale rolled into the slough when I kicked it out and there was some of that reed canary in there. So let's get the hell out of here, get home and get him unloaded.
And that, my good friends, is how it's done. Yeah, baby. Cold snack. Here we are, guys. We're at uh, the landowner's place with his share of the bales. He's getting 13 of them. So Tyler's just coming around with the old case and the spears. And he'll scoop these 13 guys off and it'll all be good. Back you up a little bit. I can't even see the screen so I have no idea what's going on here. With the sunny glasses on I can't see shit. I didn't even pay attention as to what model of case that is, that sucker. <laughs> but something was chewing on these bales. Looks like an old 9... 1070 or 970. Agri King, Case Agri King. But I'm gonna show you what I mean by something chewing on these bales. See that right there? Something was chewing on the bales. They rubbed the twines off of this side. So, oh well, what do you do, right? Anyway guys, we're gonna get this unloaded and maybe have a second cold snack while I'm here and we'll come back and talk to you all later. Well, there you got her, guys. The truck is home. All the bales are hauled. The wife brought me back out here with her truck. And I'm heading home with the tractor. But, something I didn't show you guys earlier, and I will. I'll show it to you. Because on this channel, if something bad happens, I show that too. I don't just show the fun and the good stuff. I show the bad stuff. And lots of you guys are going to get a good chuckle out of this. I'm sure. This is the second time this has ever happened to me. In all my years of farming, hauling bales, this is only the second time that it's happened. So, you and I get there, you'll see what happened. We'll show you when we get there. Talk to you then. Well there, I don't know if you can see it very good because of the sun, but, holy crap. The grass is kind of deep in this friggin' low bottom but there it is so when I turned the corner yeah so with the second load when I turned the corner that bale I didn't have it quite sitting just perfect on the trailer and she fell off right there Right in the middle of the friggin' four-way intersection, basically, is where it fell off. So when I came back with the empty trailer, I just backed up to the bale and pushed it right off into the ditch. Just like so. So yeah, it's only the second time I've ever lost a bale like that. And, well, I've been hauling bales since 95, so I guess that ain't so bad. But I kind of fucked that bale up royally. You're pulling more twine off, babe. <laughs> so we're gonna flip that sucker over with the grapple and then we'll uh, carry the sucker home with the grapple. Here you go. The wife will take the rest of the twine. If it wasn't for driving so friggin' far, right in this corner it's almost worth coming and bailing it but for half a bale it ain't worth it anyways I'll get that bale flipped over and I'll bring you guys back when I do so there we go we're on our way home got her picked that's the last of them anyways Looks like there might get a little bit of a shower rolling in here. There's a 50% chance for tonight. She was a warm one today. 
uh, got up to 32 degrees Celsius by the truck at one point there. So I don't know what that is in Fahrenheit, but it sure felt warm. And so the whole week is supposed to be hot and warm. So we'll see as what to things what happens as time goes on. Uh, Wednesday is supposed to be up to like 35 or 36 Celsius. Well, I'd be pushing the 100 degree mark for sure. So maybe more. I don't know. Anyways, guys, with that, I'm going to let you go. I'm sure I've got way more than enough footage for, for this video. But that's how we haul bales. And you're going to see quite a few more little videos of us hauling bales for sure, for sure. So with that, give us the old thumbs up, comment, subscribe. Tell your friends, and uh, guess what? Let's get her done.